Fifth, everyone. Hope you're well. Today's video is about willpower and how we build it in Moon Yoga. Um, and first and foremost, willpower in itself, just for by definitional purposes, it's that aspect of ourselves, that internal strength that uh, enables us to um, restrain ourselves, to control ourselves, to um, to push through. It's that aspect of ourselves that uh, enable us to ultimately uh, define ourselves and to uh, exert our will in the world, not only on ourselves, but on, in our interactions and in the environment. Um, it, there's so many, so many different studies and research and experiments to um, not only to figure out ways to strengthen the will, but to to understand how having a strong willpower increases life outcomes. Like people with a strong will have a tendency to be happier, to have better relations, to uh, accomplish more in life, to be more fulfilled. And just that alone should be reason enough for us to cultivate it. Like, yeah, we should want willpower because it makes life better. You know, like if you don't have control of your emotions and of your thoughts and of your actions, then, you know, life's going to dictate your life and that sucks you know so building strong willpower in and of itself is beneficial towards having a better a more fulfilled life um, in my rune yoga book I have a list like three four five pages of just different things that different practices and different exercises and um, yeah to help increase willpower to help increase inner strength um, just for this video alone, though, I just want to talk about two things in particular in rune yoga that help build that. And one is just holding the status or the stoter for a prolonged amount of time. Um, so I generally suggest having someone start with just holding a stoter for just a minute, right? And then the next week, hold it for two minutes. And then the week after that, hold it for three minutes and build yourself up to at least ten minutes. So that when you're doing a rune yoga session and you're working with one or two of the stata that you hold it for that amount of time. Because not only is it, um, well, I mean, it's doing a whole host of stuff, just to be honest. But it, it puts us in that place where we're, when the muscles start to get fatigued and the mind's just saying, hey, let's stop, let's stop. And then you push yourself past that point and you push through that threshold and that discomfort that actually increases your inner strength and, and what happens when you build willpower in one area of life is starts to apply in all different facets of your life. So it's not something like, oh, well then now I can hold solder for long, longer amounts of time, but actually like you can withstand other pressures and other tensions and other places of discomfort that you normally would withdraw or give up or things like that nature. It actually builds inner strength and that's, that's, um, that's important. That's just important, right? Um, and the second thing in rune yoga in particular that builds um, willpower is just working with the movements and doing it over and over again. So for instance, like hagalas or, or nadis or any of the um, static posture uh, movements where it's like, you know, initially it's easy, right? You're just going a, month, a minute later, two minutes later, you know, three minutes later, five minutes later, at one point, you're going to reach that place where it's hard, it's discomforting, and you keep pushing through. You keep extending the amount of time that you do it. And every time you do that, you increase your willpower, which in, in turn increases your inner strength. So, so yeah, just know that that is a major facet of rune yoga. And those are two areas in particular, just through the movements and, and the postures that help increase our inner strength, which in turn increases better life outcomes, which that's good stuff. So, uh, yeah, be well and be blessed until next video. See ya. Odin, Thor, Freyr, Freya, Sif, Frigga.